You are listening to Practical and Woo by Mindset and Manifest. My name is Eden, and I invite you to embark on a journey with me to explore the practical and spiritual edges of the unknown for the purpose of allowing you to embody and empower yourself uniquely as you are and to intentionally create and live a life of freedom and fulfillment. Each week, I'm going to discuss topics such as energetics, reality creation, manifestation, astrology, tarot, human design, and more to help empower you to live beyond perceived limitations and to practically design your life so it feels like absolute magic every step of the way. Let's dive in. Well, hello, luminous soul. A diamond with all of its facets, stands strong under pressure and is brilliantly luminescent, absorbing and reflecting light in the dynamic complexity of all that it is. If you were to be shrunk down small enough to explore the inside of a diamond, walking around in your own haven of light, you would come to notice that each angle, each facet, highlights a slightly different perspective of the diamond as a whole. You would see something new every time you explore. Even though the diamond remains the same, no matter how you perceive it, the glimpses of its beauty, of its facets, are unique, nuanced, distinguished, and numerous. The facets of Perspective and perception are similar. It is the perspective that you hold of your life and your reality that qualifies your experience of it. When I first started my business, I had this preconceived notion, a perception that doing business was a behemoth concept, something that was bigger than myself that I decided to somehow thrust myself into anyway. Well, in many ways, I was called to be where I am now, but that's a story for another time. I would find myself walking around my city, looking at all of these structures, standing so tall above me, feeling so small in their shadows. Names professionally inked or etched across their signs. Big businesses. Businesses that were thousands, if not millions of steps away from where I was in the journey of being in business. Of having a business. When I first started my business, even though I was fortunate enough to know how to incorporate and to draft contracts, thanks to law school, On many days, I found myself sitting at the computer, blankly staring at my calendar, wondering how to fill it. Well, I'm in business, so now what? My perspective of what it meant to have a business, to be doing business, was blown so far out of proportion that I found myself feeling utterly confused about my next steps. It felt like I wasn't cut out for it. A feeling I have learned that is quite normal when starting out, and I'm willing to bet is a feeling rooted in society's glorification of business and the way it's rigidly defined. So what does having a business even mean? What happens when we peel back my perspective of the concept in which I was holding? Having a business means having an offer or product that others desire to exchange something for, usually money. That's it. A child's lemonade stand is a business. And if the child has the motivation to reach more people with their thirst satiating lemonade, they could scale by creating a second lemonade stand in another neighborhood. Perhaps they could even create a franchise where they onboarded other neighborhood kids and in exchange for a fee or monetary percentage, help them build their own lemonade stand using the same model they started with. The perspective that you have of yourself and your world around you, of your reality, defines how you experience it. 
If you are desiring to intentionally create a life you love, then being well acquainted with your perspective, with your perception, is key. To contemplate and reflect on how you see things, to think about how you approach your life, to consider your motivations, to recall what made you see your world the way you do in the first place, to intentionally put on the lenses of perception that feel most like you. Personally, I like rose colored. So, what is the framework of exploring your perception? For this episode, it feels important to break down three fundamental categories of perception. The task here is to recognize, as a witness to your own lived experience, which category you fall into, when and why, and which category you prefer intend and choose to assume in order to usher in an experience of your reality that feels most pleasing and most aligned to you. Your perception of your life can be colored by any one of three perspectives. Either your life is happening to you, through you, or as you. Allow me to explain. When your life is happening to you, You are operating from a first-person lens of reality. This experience of your reality feels incredibly prominent, oftentimes confronting, and your sense of control feels essentially non-existent. You may say something like, why do these things always happen to me? This mode of reality perception is not inherently bad. It offers the same adrenaline rushing punch as seeing a horror movie or going to a haunted mansion during Halloween season or riding a roller coaster at an amusement park, something many of us choose to do in our spare time. The issue comes when we only recognize our lives through this perception of reality. When life happens to you, you are offloading the responsibility of your innate reality creation prowess onto the whims of everything and anything that is outside of you. In this mode of perception, you are most likely to repeat the same frustrating patterns of your life again and again and again. Using my business example, my perception of reality at the time was that everyone else can be in business, but not me. I kept trying things, And I imagined that they weren't working. I believed that they weren't working. And I would question, why isn't this working? I don't know what steps to take now. I just can't do it. This isn't for me. Things were not working out for me because my life and my business was happening to me. And I was allowing it to happen to me through a subtle or maybe not so subtle offloading of my creative potential onto my outside world. While the experience enriched my life by giving a foundation of what not to do and how not to think about business, I wasn't able to create what I was wanting from that mind space. When life happens instead through you, you are moving into an awareness that you are a channel for your life. Your creative prowess comes online. You are giving yourself the ability to recognize that you create, that you're a creator. You might say, life happens through me. I am the steward of my life. When you allow yourself to operate this perspective of life, really cool things begin to happen. This is the zone of perception that motivation, inspiration, and creativity live And so life, in my experience, begins to take on more vibrant colors and feelings. The caveat I will say about seeing your life from the perception of life happening through you is that there is sometimes a fear that can emerge that feels quite discombobulating. This fear often looks like a forceful control of making things happen or trying to make things happen, creating out of a space of force rather than flow. So when you are you assume this perspective of life happening through me as a conscious creator of your life it becomes incredibly important to build the muscle of patience to assume the value of humility and to invite the guidance of energy a sense of this feels right for me to help inform the moves you make 
And yet, there remains still one more perspective to play with. My life happens as me. This model of reality encourages the full and complete embracing of being the operant power of your life. You and your life are acknowledged by you as one in the same as you. When life is happening as you, there is an inherent trust that forms, a deep understanding that the life around you is a playground of exploration, an incubation hub dedicated to learning, and the deep understanding that all of life's experiences are nutrient-packed full of juicy insights, wonderful lessons that grow you along the path of being who you're wanting to be in the life you're wanting to have. Recognizing that life is happening as you is the perspective you hold when there is a profound recognition that you are one in the same as all that is. And if you allow it to, this perspective can foster an unexplainable sense of ease, trust, and flow. None of these perspectives of reality are better or worse than the other. They all serve gifts and all serve lessons. They all serve in the greater gift of expansion and development of who you are. You, my dear soul, are the creator of your life and you get to choose your approach to it. You get to choose your perspective and I'm rooting for you through it all. Until next time.